Hello again, everybody. All right. So, I wanted to get on here and talk about a subject that has been uh, really bothering me, really on my heart, um, because, yeah, I just feel like it's time to speak up for those who are like me. Um, it, or, or And even, not even just that. Maybe to also enlighten those that, that may be feeling the way I was feeling. So, um, I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw a um, guy on there who was uh, doing inspirational uh, messages. So, he often, you know, gives these messages and it's, uh, this particular one was about loyalty. And he was just talking about, you know, if you find somebody who sticks with you through thick and thin, who has every reason to walk away, but they stay, and this, this, and that, and, you know, make sure that you keep that person um, who is loyal to you in that way. And this isn't the first time that I've heard something like that. I mean, and that is right. That's lo that's a that's that's a logical way of thinking. Um, so, yeah, granted, that's a logical way of thinking. And that's not the only place that I've heard something uh, that made me feel some kind of way because of my unique situation. Um, but also, um, there was, like, if, if you go to church, uh, I know sometimes pastors and sometimes uh, my bishop, I know he is um, talking about, you know, how... Um, if someone may have left you, someone may have walked out on you, you know, you know, don't worry if someone walked out on you because they just weren't meant to be, you know, there in your life, in your future. And uh, yet again, another true statement, another logical way of thinking, um, another biblical way of thinking. Um, but I also wanted to speak for those who have unique situations. I don't even know if this is unique, but I just feel like normally when people are talking about loyalty or bishop is talking about you know don't worry about those who are in your past or who walked out or whatever i just feel like they're normally not talking about these type of people so i call it unique okay so um my situation um i was with someone who was so loyal and well, let me just back up. I'll say he was, he persevered. He stayed. He stayed, he stayed, he stayed. I, number one, I don't look at that as being the um, only way you can be loyal. Because I see loyalty as a lot more than just staying. Okay? So this person stayed, but this person also did a lot. Like, as far as being secretive and disappearing acts for a certain amount of time and um lying um the list goes on but if you are a person who is doing that and you stay with the person that you're doing it to no matter what then it is is that loyalty if the person that is doing wrong stays no matter what is that loyalty um and is that something you should look at and say you know what i'm gonna stay i'm gonna stay because i found someone that will not go will not leave even if i say i'm leaving because it's what i did i did several times when i started to see these patterns and started to see these things that were scaring me like this is like really you this is not a, a an isolated incident this is really your character i was like i gotta go and this person was always wanting to stay and work through it work it out now that's what they would say they want to work it out but they really just did not really want to talk about the situation once it got down to it they wanted to kind of skim over it and just come back the next day and be good like it happened it's in the past past being two minutes ago Let's just move on. And this was very manipulative. And this was a very damaging situation. Why? Because we are fed that 
you know, this is someone loyal. He's not going anywhere. As many times as you try to leave him, he's not going anywhere. And we are fed that. And uh, so therefore we're like feeling like the bad guy if we do decide to go, you know, permanently. Um, maybe feeling like we were not loyal or we didn't hold on to someone who was loyal. Um, and then when it comes to bishop or pastor saying, don't worry about that person that walked. Don't worry about those people that walked out on you. They weren't for you anyway, you know. And you're like, dang, I'm the person that walked out. <laughs> but the thing is, it is not meant for us to stay in these situations. We also have to remember that we're supposed to guard our hearts. We're supposed to make sure that we are connecting with people who are equally yoked. And connecting with people who are going to um, push us closer to Christ. And it shouldn't be a damaging thing where we're seeing things spiraling out of control. Everything's going downhill. We're pulling away from Christ. We're trying to pull them to Christ. Like it's it's a struggle. It's a struggle between you, you know, you and them and you and Christ. Like it it shouldn't be that way. And when it is that way, then that has to be addressed. Whatever way you address it, that has to be addressed. Whether it's you saying, I gotta go, this is not for me, or talking to them and seeing what's really going on, and maybe it's a misunderstanding. I don't know. But what I'm saying is it can't just stay like that in all for the sake of you being loyal or all for the sake of you uh, not wanting to be the one who walked out. You are not the bad guy if you get out of a situation that is not good and it is not for uh, the growth of the kingdom. It's not for um, the growth of you personally uh, with your relationship with God. Um, you are not the bad guy. If you are that person that walked out because of that, then... Um, that is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. Granted, everyone is not going to be perfect. Everyone is not going to be, you know, all spiritual and holy. No one is perfect. No one is perfect. No one is just so holy that, you know, just holier than everyone else, just closest to God. Like, it's, it's not that. But you know when you're in toxic relationships. It's a difference between... You both being flawed people coming in, trying to do things right, trying to make sure that God is in the center, and you guys mess up, make mistakes, but you guys are still trying, and um, trying to be good for one another, trying to be good for Christ. You know, it's the difference between that and it really being a toxic thing where there's patterns of um, just bad patterns of, of bad character, bad integrity, uh, things just really going wrong, and you really discerning your spirit like, this is just not right, Lord. I, I, you know, and us as young girls, we grow up and we're thinking, God, we're going to get married and we have this, you know, dream, whatever. We, we, yes, we think that and all that. That's, that's great. But in all, in all actuality, I believe our father wants to give us something beautiful. Um, and I believe that he doesn't, the Bible says he doesn't give anything but, but great gifts. He gives great gifts. So if you're with someone and you look at them and you say, God, when you made me, and, and you heard me express to you that I wanted to have someone. When you have created me and created the one for me and had me go through all these trials and these tests and all this waiting in my life, was this what you were going to bring me to? This person who is having disappearing acts, this person who is cheating, this person who is lying. Is this what you have for me? If, if you have to ask yourself that question, most of the time the answer is going to be no. So, being loyal as far as staying there um, and not wanting to be the one that walks out on someone for whatever reason, because we think maybe, oh my God, I don't want to walk out on that. Because when they change and they do better, then I don't, I'm going to be there. I don't want to be that one that walked out on them when, when I, I just didn't give them a chance. Okay, we know when we've given a little chance. We know when things begin to be toxic. Like, some stuff, you cannot stay and help it change. You've got to hand it over to the Father. Because the more that you stay and try to change it or try to affect change in that situation... You begin to pull from yourself. You begin to be um, less effective for what God wants. And that is not what he wanted. That's not what he paired you with. So just think about that. And really, at the end of the day, find your identity in Christ. Go to him and talk to him. Pray. 
ask for guidance, ask for him to reveal, reveal to you, um, you know, things about this relationship, things about this person, ask him to guide you because he will. Um, but just don't, don't be like I said, being loyal and not wanting to be the one to walk out. Those things are not, those things are great, but those things are not above you being loyal to Christ. That is first because you have so much to do. Um, you have so much to be to yourself, to others, to him. And you cannot just stay in a situation just for that alone. Those things alone should not be the deciding factor of your relationship. Christ should. And so I say, be loyal, be faithful, and be thankful for some for someone who is that same thing to you. But also, be watchful, be discerning, and know when it's time to go. All right? I hope that helped somebody. I really needed to get that off my chest because I know some people are feeling guilty and things uh, in certain situations, but don't. You know, ask God about it. Talk to him. Okay? All right. Well, I guess that's it until the next, 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 next video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know this is pretty random and my videos have been few and far between, but um, keep watching. Stay with me on this journey. I'm trying to get some things together. Um, <laughs> And, yeah, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and turn the notifications on so you'll know when I post another video. And share this. Please share. Thanks for watching. Peace out.